if Indian actors were Israeli men, <laughs> oh God. who would they be? Hot topic. <laughs> this is Senet's favorite topic is we are going to be talking about men today. This is what I do. I don't have a name. Darling, you're really. I'm very possessive about this guy. He's my childhood crush. Rithik Roshan? Yes! Oh! <laughs> So if Rithik Roshan was an Israeli man, I think he would be like a hot dad who lives in Tel Aviv. Two children, but the rest of the hope is gone. Usually on a Friday morning, people like go out, especially uh, in Dizengoff, the yeah. Dizengoff circle. Yeah. He's out with his shades and with his like swag and like bougie stuff. Vibes. I can imagine him in like a shorts with like a cool t-shirt uh -huh. with shades, taking his babies for a stroll in the stroll. Stroller. <laughs> Yeah, coffee in his hands, like take it. Yeah, you know, Starbucks ne to Alit coffee. Alit nahi re, our cafe. Not our cafe. Jo bhi There's hai. a booty cafe. There is, there is. Booty? Booty. The name of the cafe is Booty. Mm -hmm. So he goes to Booty, gets his uh, Americano with soya milk because I love soya milk. So he's going to get soya milk. Athletic. Wearing his AirPods and just like strolling his baby through like dizzing off. Uh, I feel like he would also pass like a vegan dad. Vegan? Nahi re. Nahi re. Nahi re. Vegan is too much. Nahi nahi nahi. Vegetarian. Ha, vegetarians are vegan is somebody who has his meal prep ready. Meal prep. <laughs> yes, sahi. Let's see who's next on the list. There you go. Ooh! Aditya Roy Kapoor. And he's also Jewish because his mom is Jewish. Yeah. So we have a Jewish desi this boy in the house. This was a revelation to me like a month ago and I was like, what? So I'm high now though. I'm high now though. Hey, yaar. It's so awesome. IT guy. Be like in a CEO position. You know, you would go to like a high tech building where you would, uh, he'd be walking out and be like, hey girl. So basically, he's going to be a founder of a cyber security See, company yeah, founded in Israel. Uh, yeah. Is he married? Please. That is very important. I think he would be with like two kids. But it's like hard to believe that he's married. Exactly. Because he's so young and yeah. successful. But also, again, in Israel, people do get married early. Right. Also that. So like, but we don't want to marry. So yeah, no. Exactly. So no. Sheesh. The next hottie we have on the list is fresh out of the oven. Vedang Vaina. Oh, the Archie's guy. The Archie's guy. I think he would be like a commando in the ITS. <gasps> I, thought this I saw one of his recent pictures. I'm going to put it on the screen. He has the army haircut right army now. Haircut. So it kind and of has goes. Looks and he's like, he would be like a commando of, you know, the Air Force or like the paratrooper group. Like girls want to like date him. Even men like love him. <laughs> but he's like, bro, like, I don't um, want any distractions. Street. My focus is on IDS <laughs> right now. Next hottie. Ooh, this is gonna let be Let me take, let me take. Hi, Mirafia. Then will you sing? <laughs> I, do, I do like him. He would be a Tel Aviv arse. Arse is not arse, by the way. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't even know how to define it. The typical Tel Aviv guy that is like, what do you say? Hits on women, approaches them directly, straight approach, doesn't waste no time. You has know? a funny style. Has a funny style, is humorous. You know, the one that says, hey, mommy. Makore. Hey, where are you from? <laughs> hey, where are you from? Where are you from, from India? <laughs> you want to come on date? <laughs> and he'd be the one that would dress, you know, like that way. For an occasion. Yeah, it doesn't course, matter yeah. if it's Shabbat, Shabbat or, yeah. or like the person that would be like all rangila. And he would pass for a Middle Eastern man. Uh, like, absolutely. He looks I think so also, Dora. So like lying down on a beach, he'd be like, hey, mommy, where are you from? <laughs> hey, would you like to come to my place for Shabbat? <laughs> you would only do that. So next we have, ooh. Oh, hey, Jagaf. Veteran. <laughs> yeah. Anil Kapoor, sir. Mafia. The mafia who like lives in Ramle. <laughs> he's Jewish, but like he's a pacemaker between like the Israelis Jellies and the and Arabs, Arabs living in Ramle. He would like totally pass for it. I think ever since I saw Welcome, I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah, so he would be like a pacemaker, but also be like a mafia and like go on Shabbat as well as like Ramadan. Indian and Massimo. Eh? Indian Massimo. What's Massimo? 365 days, bro. Nahi dekha hai yaar. What's that? do life me. I hustle, bro. That's what I do. I don't have time to watch 365 like other uh, Netflix uh, movies, but uh, okay, I will watch it on your recommendation. We have another Hari. Tommy, Tommy. Oh, Tiger Shroff. How do you think he would be like if he was the one that man? jogs in the streets? No, not on the streets. Near the beach also. Exactly. But I'm just saying, people do jog on Tel Aviv streets. What? But he's topless, bro. Why do you run topless? Guys run topless everywhere in this country. Yeah, but where do you it's see It's allowed them? for them. Are, but specifically, where do you see Ajah, them? By, by the beach. Sir. Yes. Okay. So I could no, see them. Like, like, to audience. Ke liye. I can give no. them like visualization. I would like, uh, I would picture him running by the beach. Yes. Mm. Perfect. Um, without, with his t-shirt in his hand. Yeah. But topless. Oh with my shorts. God. With headphones. Oh my God. Um, 
HRX brand. <laughs> HRX is Ritika brand. Haan, to chalega. Achha, 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 Kharita to hoga, na? Haan, to hai. All the girls are like, he gone hai? He would be the one playing volleyball. Like you could picture him playing volleyball by the beach. Yeah, with all his like hot friends. Or standing under the shower before you go into the beach water. Oh my know? god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please, one second. Hava yung de hava. Hava. Kiki kolu? He's like the martial artist. There are a lot of martial artists here. But he That's... would like do capoeira. Ooh, you can see him flipping somewhere, yeah. He's like the perfect Tel Avivian hot fitness guy. Yeah. And you'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Another veteran, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. I don't think he's retired, but let's assume like he's retired. Like he would be a kibbutznik. For people who don't know who's a kibbutznik, mm. there's a concept of kibbutz, like living on a kibbutz. So somebody who lives on a kibbutz is called kibbutznik. He would have his own place, his own land. He's like farming, getting his hands dirty, and like oh, yeah. having a community life, and like you know. Guy bhesho ke saath. <laughs> exactly, guy <laughs> bhesho ke saath. Not like you picture in India, but here yeah. it's a little more yeah, different. It's, it's a little more, how do you say? Like in Italy, you know, like off scene. Exactly. Like in, into the wilderness. Maybe he owns an avocado farm. Let's give him <gasps> avocado because avocados yeah. are really good here, by the way. Amazing. And then, you know, Ratko, like he's sitting by the fireplace with his cigar and his wine. Are wow. Bro, the life. I think I he would totally imagine. pass for like a kibbutz man. Yeah, with Rekha ji. Uh, Jaya ji. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Madam, this is your uh, man. Our Madhavan, another love of my life. He would be a physicist, somebody that works in a lab. I could see him owning like a private jet and traveling the world. I think he would be married. Oh, definitely. For yeah. sure. Like married with like four kids, for yeah. sure, who are like doing very well. Maybe Maybe two for of themselves. them are scientists themselves. themselves. Yeah. A physics scientist at Tel Aviv University yeah. who is mentoring Indian students, students doing PhD and postdoc. He'd be perfect. Won a lot of awards also. I think yeah. his wife would be like uh, somebody who also has like a side business. No, I think she also would be a scientist. Acha side, acha, I, I like scientists, but Sabko scientist but she yeah. would be like a CEO of her own company or something like that. Like I, I can see him like that. Yeah. Like that. I think mostly the trend here that I've seen is like, especially for researchers, because they're so intellectually like there, they want a partner who is like that. So would be Big Again. Bang Theory in Israel. <laughs> physicist ko physicist mili. Allah They were winning. Tu match mein hi kare. We have Mr. Ajay Devkar. Are you seeing him? I think this. <laughs> this is not a surprise, but he would be from the Israeli police. Are like Yeah, he's like fit. He has the the swag to be a police. He would like have the chutzpah. He would just like be in his car, and if he sees somebody speeding, he would be like, Hey! <laughs> he would like have his gun and would be on his walkie-talkie. And would be like very uh, well connected with, uh, you know, people around the world with politicians and with commoners. I think he would be like the favorite policeman in Israel. Alu Lelo! <laughs> Mr. Nana Patekar. Definitely a shook guy. Yeah, so no, for, for people who don't know, shook is a market here. Yeah. And they have a very specific character, like a shook guy for selling something. They're very like loud and proud about being an Israeli. Just say you Indian ke market. Sold. Yes. Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. And he here. would be selling like falafels and shawarma. Oh my god. And then we like, uh, you know. You like, don't worry, I'm going to kill you. I can't see it. I'm going to kill you, please take my place. If I would like walk up to him to do a, like an interview for my YouTube channel, he would be like, I'm going to kill you, Anish. I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you. Ah, namaste. You're very beautiful. Eh? I don't understand your accent, eh? but eh, you look very Israeli. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Anupam Khair. He would make a good politician. He would be the bridge for Israel and India, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Like hundred percent. Like when you talk to him, he sounds very educated. He doesn't sound dumb. I think he has the wisdom also. Exactly. To yes. like sway the young people and, and the, old the old people. He's gonna be everybody's favorite. Exactly. And I would totally vote for him. Yeah. Hi, this is my Chummeshwari. Hi, Imran Ashwi. You would be the typical Tel Aviv Tinder guy. Tinder, no, yeah. I'm Tinder, Tinder Tinder grinder. We will put Hinge on Hinge. Please, Hinge is so much better than Tinder, please. Okay, yeah, but he please. would be the kind that would like take you out on a date. Yeah, he would not flake. He will, he will respond and take you out on a date. He would ask you where you want to go. 
Yes. And he would take you into consideration and then leave you with a good kiss. Would he call you back saying like, hey, I had a great time. Let's go on a, I would like to take you out again. Would he do that? I think he would. See, based on all his movies, I can see yes. Even though he's uh, known for his uh, bad boy charms. Yeah. I think all his portrayals in the movies were pretty good. I wish we had that here, but you don't in reality. Oof. Manifesting, put it out of the universe. Put, 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 put. Okay. Hey, Deva, I type guy. Hey, Deva, Panduranga, Maheshwara. Pathat is a neat partner. No, 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 no. He would be the guy you meet on Hinge. Yeah. Who you go out on a date with and then you end up falling in love with. And then he would eventually be your, like, your Israeli uh, boyfriend slash husband. I think he could have two sides. He would be like a Tinder guy also. He could be like a Hinge no, portrayal. No, he doesn't feel like a Tinder boy. Oh. Man, I don't know. I mean, Shifra ko mujh Yeah. <laughs> Shifra is like a dear friend who's obsessed Test with Imran Hashmi. <laughs> and and the San was like, bro, we need to have Hashmi in our video. So. Oh God. Siddharth Malhotra. <gasps> he would be, I will tell you. First look is exactly how it was in uh, Kaiman Tath. Student of the year. Yeah. Where you're sitting on the beach trying to read a book in your chaise and you see this man coming out of the water with his abs and the water <laughs> dripping off his body and you're like... <laughs> He's like sun kissed and like exactly. his skin is glowing. He's like the oh perfect man that comes out of the water and he's like walking and you're like, oh my god. I can see the sand and the and the droplets on his body. On the, ab, on the abs trickling down <laughs> to the waist. Okay, let's not go too far. Let's breathe <laughs> and move on. <laughs> yeah. And then I personally think that he would also have like this secret girlfriend, but like he would never say out loud because he's getting so much attention from other women. Yeah, but he would yeah. definitely have a secret girlfriend who's all who's equally hot. Kiara Advan, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> if he was in Tel Aviv, this would have been a concern. <laughs> Yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah, so I think that was it. These are the personalities we had on our list. We are planning to do like a part two for actresses. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye.